Okay, y'all. Uh, today, uh, I am going to give you, well, basically, I'm going to show you a treatment on how to get rid of German cockroaches. Um, the kitchen is going to be probably the number one um, place you're going to have them if you do have them. And the, one of the hot spots in the kitchen is the stove. So just depending on how your stove is, um, you gotta put it out. And then usually when you put it out, you see all these bad boys running all down here in those cracks. And they running wild, maybe probably all on here. Um, this is a hot area so you know roaches love the heat um so they all be here a nest will be here um nest will be somewhere on the floor somewhere underneath um and then if they get bad you know they migrate into here up, up, up all inside of these areas they hide um, and they make nest in all these areas right here, especially those corners up there. Uh, and then they actually move uh, under here, under just under just under areas where you can't see uh, when you are standing up. So you have to get down to see these areas. Uh, that's why I know. Uh, Doing yourself is a lot, um, but that's why I'm showing you um, the areas and what you need to do. Uh, you know, so they would hang like right here, all in these corners, basically all around here, because it's heat. So you would have to treat these areas um, with a certain, probably three different type of pesticides. Um, and since you're doing it yourself, you know, it's your house. So, you know, there's no problem on um, doing it. Because you can always do a uh, pest control yourself only uh, at your house. But um, one of the pesticides you're going to need is called Alpine. Um, and then another one is called Teco. Um, that's a, a growth regulator. And that um, just stops you. Well, it's actually stops, not you, I'm sorry. It stops the bugs, the German roaches, or any insects that uh, grows. another lifespan uh, these are some more areas right here that they hang out just basically all cool areas you know just where you wouldn't see they would get all up in those cracks so these areas down here uh, you would have to use a gel um, some of you, you know, you might know about the gel because I'm pretty sure you guys research. Um, there's a couple gels, but one good gel. Um, there's a couple good gels out there, actually. You can use Avion um, gel bait. Um, you 
also need to also check all the areas wherever um, they, wherever you can't see, put it like that. So you need to check all the areas under things, under things. Make sure they're not hiding in corners and and and, and corners and, and places where you don't normally see. Sometimes you know what I mean. You want to see these areas. Make sure that you don't see any uh, roaches there. Um, another hot area. The refrigerator. Um. They love this area right here. Um, it's just really hot over here. Just basically like the uh, stove, but they get into these. Once you have an infestation, you know, they get into these cracks down here. Um, and especially if you have stuff like this, They get into there, um, hide, harbor, and make babies. Or even you have um, holes like that. And this is a pretty old, old house, built in 1933, so you're going to have some holes in here. But, you know, even with new houses as well, you have holes. So, But if you had a problem, they would get into there, into that crack. These traps are good right here. These are, uh, you know, what say do not touch. Those are sticky. Those are glue traps, okay? Um, let me to tell you about those as well. You can get those um, online as well. Um, Amazon. Do your own pets.com. Um, that's where I get my products. Um, they're the same products to... Uh, Best control companies use, by the way. But um, these sticky traps come in handy. You know what I mean? Um, just for, not even for roaches, just for anything. You see on this trap, what I call, you know, I don't have, you know, call um, spiders, maybe ones, die long way, got stuck up on there, maybe a moth. Uh, that's about it. No other bugs or problems, you would know because they will go high. You know, they're going straight there. Bugs don't know. You know, it's a trap. Anything goes on there, it's not coming off. Okay, so uh, these are good traps to have in your house just because sometimes then you would just know the activity uh, and what's going on in these hot spot areas um, when you have roaches. Um, and then you'll know because it'll fill up. Trust me. You put about four traps back here. The roach was back here. You put about one, two, three, four traps. Oh, and these traps too. You can get these, like I said, when you get them on Amazon, you get about 70 of them, 60 of them, depend on um, the deals they got or do it through on pestcontrol.com. Um, you know, all that stuff is there. You know, I'm going to have another video and stuff on, you know, how to mix it up and, you know, and stuff like that, you know, since you're doing it yourself at home. Um, but, yeah, back to the German roaches. So, you know, if you had an infestation right here, if you had an infestation, this would be the spot they would hide, and they would be, they would be, like I said, in those cracks on the floor, they'll be underneath your refrigerator as well. They'll be running wild all in here. You will see them right now running, going crazy. Roaches, they have like, so if you Google them, German roaches, they're not a general pest, by the way. Um, pest control has a couple different treatments. German roaches is one of the top expensive uh, bugs to get rid of. That's why it costs a lot of money and then that's why a lot, a lot of people have them. Um, you know, they don't have the money to 
pay the pest control company to do that. It's about it's gonna cost you about four hundred and fifty dollars to get rid of your, your German roaches. Um, so to, you know, I'm just doing all these videos to help um you and educate, you know, everybody on what you should know. Anyway, you know, for the people that do, you know, do your do your own pest control, you know, you you know, this is still tips as well. You know, you don't wanna pay the pest control tech next to what a sales guy actually that's coming knocking on your door. You told him not you do it yourself, but maybe you really don't or maybe you do or you know, you don't know the stuff. You know, you're using the the wrong stuff that, you know, that I don't really do to get the job done, like the the tech or well not so you know, the job done, like you know, like the stuff from Lowe's and Home Depot stuff. I'm not knocking them, but you know, that's just not you know, that's stuff just don't work really. For especially when you're dealing with uh stuff like, you know, like this. Uh especially raid, you know. <laughs> that's just one of the top <laughs> things people buy when they have German roaches, they go straight to the store, Lowe's and Home Depot and buy Raid. What you really need is some Alpine and Teco. You know, remember those, those two pesticides, Alpine WSG is one, Alpine WSG and Teco. That's number two, two things you need. Um, that's, you know, to spray around all your baseboards. These are your baseboards right here, you know. All uh, these your baseboards. You want to spray the baseboards so it, uh, all the whole baseboard to, so that then the stuff can drip all inside of here. Because that's how the bugs move. You know what I mean? The bugs move. They travel to the floor. They get onto the baseboards and they crawl. So you want the, the bug to get onto the chemical that you sprayed on the baseboards. Uh, so that chemical has a residual for about 90 days. Uh, sits there uh, on your baseboard. So they just have to go on to it, you know, get it off the uh, base, off the surface. And I'll bring it back to the nest. Um, the pests, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot to pest control. That's why some people just pay people, you know what I mean? Well, not pay people, but just pay pest control companies to do this work because, it's some, you know, sometimes the chemicals will be expensive just depending on um, you know, where you go, and you just don't have the time to do it, and just, you know, you just want to professionally know it, but some people just want to just learn and just know anyway, just in case, you know what I mean, so this is what this is for, but the German roaches, they know they will hide all the ball, all in here, you would have to move this, so sometimes you got to unscrew this, you know what I mean, the screws, you got to unscrew that, and the screw, and take it out. And you can't spray inside of here once again. So you have to get the roach gel. Um, the roach gel to put inside of here. Um, like in areas, you know, you can actually put some roach gel right on the cardboard. Um, um, and let those, and let the roaches go to the gel. You want the roaches to take the gel back to the nest. That's the reason for the gel. You know, you can't spray inside of here with all these wires and stuff. You end up frying everything. So, you know, and messing up your refrigerator, your brand refrigerator you just bought. Uh, so you need to make sure you uh, gel. Roach bait. These areas, um, you know, so I'm just giving y'all, make sure y'all look, you know, because most refrigerators look like this. So you just basically gotta just make sure you, sometimes, you know, if you wanna look, you know, just look, take it off and put it back because that's where they hang at. So you just wanna put gel in these areas, take it off, put some gel up in here, slide some gel a line, straight up in there, and uh, get all up in there because that's where they hide at. They hide inside of there. You know what I mean? You need to get them all in there uh, and, and see. Um, you know, it's nothing here, but this is where they will be. So you have to move your refrigerator, move your refrigerator. Uh, and then once you move it, I'm pretty sure once you move it, you have roaches, if you move this refrigerator, they'll be running, you know, they'll run from under it, they'll run from around it. So when you do spray, it'll be best for you to automatically spray around your refrigerator. Spray here first, 
You know what I mean? Go around here, spray around here first, and then go around here, spray around here too as well. You know, make sure you don't hit no wires or nothing like that. But you want to uh, spray around uh, here as well too, you know, everywhere, so that uh, you can control them. Because they're going to be running wild once you have that, uh, you know, that pesticide down um, <laughs> around there. You spray it, they're going to fall out. They are going to fall out. Um, and, and still, you know, go around. Go around the baseboards. Keep going around, you know. Back to with your, with, where the stove is at. Once you know, you, you're spraying the baseboards here. You're spraying the baseboards all the way here. You make sure even, hey, you know what? You can still spray the floor area as well. Some feet out. Um... So the roaches that's running, they're gonna run straight into the chemical and straight into the wall. You're gonna see a whole bunch of dead roaches. So you spray them areas, come back, spray the baseballs over here, come back, spray all of them to them cracks. Cause we have roaches, they'll be all in these cracks right here, most likely as well. They'll be right here usually too, when you have roaches too. Sometimes they be in these areas, hiding up here. They might be in these corners here. You see, you would see the roach evidence because it would be like uh, mad different, like it look like pepper, but it's roach species. And they hang up on here sometimes, all on the walls, and just depending on what it is. They be all up on there a lot. So you have to spray up there as well to get them down because they do hide up there. They hang up there. Uh, especially if you had a bad infestation, so you have to spray it there as well, too. So you gotta keep going right around because you want to contain them. You want to control, you want to have this whole perimeter spray so when they move. And you move on to the boiler. Once again, you see, I have these traps that I bought. Um, you know, got these online. Um, simple ones, you know, like you, you know, you can get a whole pack. And what I did is, you know, this is the boiler room area, you know. Where another hot spot, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> For those German roaches, they hide in those areas up there, uh, in these areas right here, because it's hot. So they love to hide in those areas. So you have to treat up there. You have to spray up there as well too. And sometimes, depending on what it is, you have to get a ball in there because they hide in all those little cracks. See these cracks right here? They hide and get into there. Um, so you will either have to use, uh, you will sometimes you will have to gel. Instead of spraying, you might even have to gel. Or depending on how big the, uh, say something like this. See, I put some gel in here because uh, I didn't like how, how open it was. This is an old house, so. But sometimes, say it's like this, well, yeah, it's best to put gel in there because it's not that deep deep but you can put some gel in there in those little spots so if it is roaches and those they would eat that uh and i keep saying gel but you know it's roach bait uh you keep you know just put the roach bait in there they're gonna go to it and eat it and take it back to the nest um but this is the area where they like to hang out at and like i said they make nests in corners they get in places where you don't know so you gotta look Look, look all in these corners. Look up here. See what you see, you know what I mean? You gotta look all in here. Look all in these corners. Look up top. Look in these window areas too, because they hide. You see these cracks in here? Look in them cracks. Look and stuff like that. Look at all of it, because they get into that stuff. Uh, and you just never know until you really focus on them. Look at it. Look all in, you know, just depending on, you know, everybody's house is different, but, you know, just I'm just giving you an example what you need to look because they hide under these places, under places where you don't know. They get into here. Places like this, you put the gel in them corners, uh, like a line. Just put a line there. You know, put a line all the way down there, just lines all the way down there. They hang in these spots. If you had them, they do hang in these spots. Holes. And this is a big hole right here. Um, and sometimes they get in there. So this is a wall. This is a wall with a big hole. You can't really spray inside it. Now, if you spray inside it, it's really no use. It's not going to do too much. So you're going to have to get a product called Delta Dust. Delta Dust. 
where is uh you know it's basically it only goes in cracks and crevices. It's too strong. You can't breathe it in. You need a mask. When you win, when you are using these pesticides, by the way, and I mean to say, you need to be safe using them. Wear gloves, mask. Um, it's harmful. You know what I mean. Um, but you can use it because you're doing your own house. Um, but you cannot use these pesticides doing someone else's house. Um, but yeah, but the Delta dust, what you do is you, uh, just depend on what you have. You have a duster or whatever the tools are. You can just use the bottle, but you stick the, the top and then you squeeze and the dust goes into the wall. Uh, and it goes throughout your whole wall and it kills whatever that's in your wall. Same thing as that hole. You just put the, uh, the Delta dust in there and squeeze it and it goes all throughout the whole wall. It kills whatever that's in the wall. Uh, so that's a good pesticide, Delta dust. Goes in the wall voids only. You don't want to just put it in the air. It's not good to breathe. And you don't need that much as well, neither. So that is something that is good to move on. To use to use something, so that's something good to use. So that's something good to use um, with that as well. Um, also, too, as well, um, you know, spray, spray that part as well. You got to spray the baseboard as well, um, and keep going. Spray along there as well. You need to get this barrier around. Um, also spray inside of here, you know, you still got to spray these baseboards, spray all inside of here. I would just spray the whole floor, um, if you had them, because they would be running the floor anyway. Spray all of them, spray behind here, and stuff like that. And then after, once you spray it and it's done, put the traps here, you know, you'll see what activity you have once you spray, and they will run this way anyway, because once you spray, they're going to go wild, they're going to die, um, place less like this. And also, see how I put the gel in it, it, sometimes you just have need to put the gel um, in certain spots if you have them, because they hang in those spots right there as well when you're doing in those cracks and covers and stuff like that. And then, and then you just keep on going around, you know, you spray just the back door. So, so, you know, you still spray around the back door as well. Spray Always spray the, the doorway area. Spray it around here. With the garbage can, most likely they're going to be around the garbage can too because it's full area. So, with a garbage can, spray around the baseboard area, you know, just about every six feet. And then with these, same thing with that, you got to hit this baseboard as well, too, as well. This right here, if you had roaches too, this is, you would not be able to get in here. You see how this is just, um, you can't get into this. So, the roaches they will hide in this crack that's right here because it's open. Don't forget, this house is old, 1933. So, they would get into this crack. They would hide all up in here and uh, nest. So, you would have to, uh, you would have to gel these areas. Um, you can spray in these cracks as well, too. You can spray in those cracks, but it's best to, after you spray, let it dry, and then you can gel in these areas for another treatment because the spray is going to knock them out. And then you can gel there once it's dry. And all these cracks you see under there, you probably can't see, but they hide all under there, all under there. So the roaches, they would be hiding all under there. So the gel is the only part, you, the only way you or, or once again, too. You don't want to spray this, actually. I told you wrong. You want to use that Delta dust. The Delta dust, uh, since you can't get back here, since it's a void, you can put it in a little hole right here and squeeze it, and the powder is going to go right all through that hole back up here, and it's going to kill what's ever back there as well. Same thing, because this is a dishwasher, right? And they, and they get back there um, and they um, nest. So that is another big nesting spot for uh, German roaches. They hide back there, hide back there, hide back there. So you got to use that Delta dust to get back here. With the roaches, you have to 
put that powder and it goes right back here. You can see it. Same thing with the other side. We have to, there was no space on this one. There's space down here. So you would have to put the Delta dust down there because that's where the roaches hide at. So this is another place. There's three places, the refrigerator, the stove, and if you have a dishwasher, the dishwasher. Um, so you have to put that Delta dust and get it in the back of there so it'll go through the areas that you can't reach. And then in here, you would just gel because they will be hiding in that open area and they will be hiding in there. So you would have to gel these areas because they will be hiding in there. Gel those up. Gel those up. Another area they love. This is the sink area underneath of a hot spot. So, you know, you would have to, they might be in there too. So you have to get the Delta dust once again and put it, you know, that's a void. So you have to put it back there. Most likely you Delta dust in here. So it'll probably come back out through here. But hey, I don't care, you know, just don't do too much. But, you know, maybe you could Delta dust down there, put a little bit in there because they're going to be everywhere. And, you know, hide up in there. So, you know, they hide in those areas up there. Um, so that's why... When you seeing them crawling in your car or your countertop. Once again, this is an old house, so you're gonna have, you see those places, they crawl on your countertop through them cracks right here. That's because they are crawling through here. They're in the bottom nesting, and then they're coming out back and forth from the sink to up top. You know, most bugs uh, survive uh, off water. Um, so, you know, they're around these areas like that. Heat and water, you know. Humans, you know, we got to live like that too. So, they're living the same way. So, they're hiding them areas. They're hiding them areas. They get back. they hide hiding them areas right here. You know what I mean? they get in them. So, they get back all of them areas back here. They get all of them. And so, you got to spray all back here get them spray kill that whole nest because this nest all up in there you got to spray all up in there get up all up you got to get up all in there you know what i mean and i mean get up in there you got to get up in there spray all up in there get back up there and get that too spray on there make sure you got your safety glasses on because it's going to come back you got to get up all in there once again come on this side see this side right here all this it's just, you know, when you come here, that's just this right here, okay? So they are nesting all up in there. Once again, so you got to come back all the way in there. They nesting. They nesting all up in here, all up in here, all up in here, all up here, okay? So you got to treat all up in there as well. Spray all that out. Spray it out. Move all the stuff. You got to spray. I would recommend, you know, move. you got to be thinking there. Take it all out. Put it all, take it all out and put it up somewhere high. Spray this whole area out. You want to see it damped and you want to see it wet inside of here. All up in there. Get up all in there. Get up in there. Spray it all out with the Alpine and the Teco. That's what you need. Alpine and Teco. Spray it all out. Remember that because this is the hot spot. You want to get all these pipes. Spray all them pipes and stuff. You know what I mean? Get into them cracks. See them cracks? You want that chemical to go into them cracks down there. Because all your roaches hide in them cracks down there. You want to get into them cracks. You know what I'm saying? I got the sticky chaps because I want to see what's on them bad boys. You know what I mean? I want to see my activity. I love to see activity in, in the house. You want to see what's going on. Get into see what I mean. They get into these cracks. If you have real roaches, they get into these cracks. So you have to spray all up in there. Spray all up in there. 
this a little bit of a hot spot right there. They love to get in here and spray all up. And you got to spray this area up. They get all in. The small baby ones will usually be inside of here. The big ones spray all up in there. Get all up in there. Sometimes they get into these cracks right here. You got to spray this thing down too. I'm praying this door down. They get them into here. They just get everywhere. That's why it's important that you spray there. They get all up in there. They get in all up in there. So spray everywhere. Spray this. You got to spray up all in there. Spray everywhere because they can get in these places. They get the same thing. They, they hide the whole line. They just hide all up in there the whole time. Hide, 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 hide. They hide up in there the whole time. So you got to get up in there and you got to see that. You under there? They have, if you have roaches, they'll be in there. So you got to get up all up in there from the corner. Spray all that out. Spray all of that out, okay? You got to spray all of it out. It's going to be some work. You know, that's why... That's why... The professionals do it, but it's the people that don't want to pay for the, the professionals and for people that do it they so, you know, get into the other cabinet, you know what I mean? I got, you know, I put traps everywhere, you know what I mean? I got the traps. All I got to do, like I said, is go to Amazon or go to do it, do it on, on patch.com. You got to spray, spray, get in, so take these cabinets out. Sometimes the roaches be inside of there. Take the cabinets out, take them out, take this one out too. Take both of your cabinets out, spray up all in there because that's the same way how the sink was. They're gonna be all up in there too. So you gotta spray all up in there. All up in there. Take everything out. Spraying them cracks. They're gonna be spraying them. Spraying them. Spraying them. Go on there. Spraying them. You know what I mean? You gotta get into these cracks up here. Get into these cracks up here. Make sure there's nothing down there. Get all up in there. Get in there. That's the best place. The coolest place they love it. That's why they put they this is where they hide their eggs. You know what I mean? The mothers hide their eggs. In nice places where you don't see is all the time. So you gotta get up into these cracks and uh and and they hold their eggs till like till they about to hatch a couple days. Um, so you, you need to get into these cracks. Like I said, that's how they get into the countertops. That's how they get into the countertops because it's open. They get into the countertops too. Hey, that's why people will see the roaches um, crawling on your countertop and they wonder why. They wonder why they're crawling up here. Why they're crawling up there. Why they're crawling through there. Why they're crawling through there. Because all they're doing is coming through the bottom of this. And get under the counter. So you gotta, and all the roaches in, in, in your kitchen, they just hide. All the roaches in your kitchen, they just hiding inside of the cabinets. That's why it's important to empty your cabinets out and just spray and spray into them cracks and them crevices and put the delta dust in the holes in the places where you can't get. You know what I mean? And uh, you can also spray these areas too. Clear your countertop off and hit these areas. Make sure you don't hit them part there, but hit these areas. Make sure that stuff go in there. Hit them areas too. It's, it's, it's not that bad if you hit these areas. Just make sure you got your yeah, important stuff. You don't want to eat and everything out the way. Take all that stuff out the way. Hit these areas on here because that's where they are. Hit them, hit them areas because they hide inside there, okay? And even if you got cabinets, you got cabinets, right? You know, usually they gonna be running out your cabinet. They gonna be running in them corners right here. In them corners, they're gonna be right there in them corners. Right there in them back corners, making the nest. Back there in them back corners, making a nest. And then probably the nest. So what you gotta do, you gotta take yourself out as well. You know, you gotta take it out. You gotta spray them areas down too. Spray all them areas down. Kill all them babies. Spray them areas down, come back up. Spray them areas down too as well. Get it up in there. Spray all the areas. They hide in these areas. See that? They hide in them. Get up in there. Come back up. Spray up in there. Check, you know, get up all of them areas. They hide in there. You might have to get, you know, get up in there some with the uh you could you know you can spray inside of there too as well. And then like I said, sometimes and if you got sometimes you might have to get up in there. Uh if you got that open, depending on what it is. This is what you gotta have to use the Delta dust to get inside of here. Sometimes they get up in light fixtures. You gotta use Delta dust or you gotta use gel. You can just put a circle around that and let them, uh, you know, and let the, uh, and let the uh, roaches go into the gel. You know what I mean? Same thing with that. You can put, you got this like that. You can just get gel and put it around and let the roaches get into that. Um, but, you know, they're gonna be hiding in small cracks like that. Small cracks. 
You know, they kind of, you know, they're gonna be in little corners up top where you can't see. They're not always gonna be where you can't see sometimes. So you gotta spray up here sometimes, you know what I mean? Get up in there. Same thing with the other one. You know, you gotta get into your little corner. You get into the corners. They hide in these little spots right here. So you gotta spray them, spray and gel. Spray, after these get dry, you gel. I mean, I, mean, I keep saying gel, the roach bed. You put roach bait in there. Um, roach bait it up. Spray it out. Spray it out. So I'm saying use it because if you go have roaches, you know, you have an infestation, they're going to be in these areas with infestation around just all in your cabinet. Sometimes you, you open it up and it's just riding wild. They hide in them places. They get in there. They hide up in there. You know what I mean? They hide up in them little spots like that. So you got to get up in spots. You got to spray it out. Remove it and spray it, and then you got to gel. You know what I mean? So, and then after, so that's, the kitchen is the hot spot. Um, another one is the hot spot. You know, we want to go into the bathroom. Okay, another one, the bathroom. Just go, uh, just basically just go around, go underneath the sink, uh, do what you got to do. And, you know, they hide inside of here. So you got to get inside of the sink. Um, in these little, just little corners. They hide in the little corners down there. They get into side here sometimes. They get, in, you know, they get into these little corners and and they just hide and they just get in and, and make nests. So you gotta spread that out as well. So so wherever you see cracks and 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 and, 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 and cracks in the floor and stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta treat them areas, you know, with a little bit more love. Make sure that 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 pesticide get into the cracks. Spray all that. Make sure that chemical get into them cracks because that's where you see them cracks. They get into there and they hide. Make sure you spray them cracks really, really good. Spray them cracks really, really good. Spray them really, really good. See behind there? They get into this. So you gotta hit behind there as well. Spray them, spray them on the toilet. Spray everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Spray everywhere you could because they're gonna hide. And then sometimes, you know, once you, once you have infestation, you gotta make sure you gotta check all your your doorways. Uh, make sure they're not right here hanging out. Make sure they're not right here hanging out. I always wanna check the bottom one. Make sure they're not hanging out. Check these areas. They like to hang out here too as well. Check these areas as well. Uh, they hang out here. Um, Holes, you gotta just wherever there's a hole that you got an infestation, check it. You might have to put some gel in that hole because they might be there. You know what I mean? You might have to gel that hole out because they might be there. Wherever you can't spray, you need to gel. Okay. And one more thing I meant to tell you, just depending on how your outlets are, these outlets are funny. Okay. But sometimes you are, are able, sometimes the roaches get into the outlets. You know what I mean? So actually, you can take these outlets apart. So you what have to do is you have to, sometimes, you know, the, the roaches, they get into here, like I was saying. So you have to get a screwdriver or whatever one that you need, flathead or other, unscrew each one and take it apart. And then sometimes you'll see the roaches running wild inside of there. You can't spray inside of these things right here, okay? <clears throat> Mess your electricity, you know, it, 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 yeah. Mess, you know, your damage things. So you have to uh, gel, or you can delta dust. But you might as well gel inside of here, okay? Uh, you can just put some, you know, some delta dust in the corner. I mean, I mean not just some, um, and I keep saying gel. You can put um, some roach bait. Um, in the areas, like the corners of it. Once you open it up, the corners of it or around it, because you're gonna see activity in these, if you have an infestation. Not every single time, but you can. These are another hot spots as well. Um, you never know. Wherever is heat, they will hide. Okay? So wherever it's heat, they will hide. Remember that. Put the stove out. Put the refrigerator out. You gotta treat in between 
dishwasher. They get behind there, you know, with the Delta Dust. Um, you boil, you know, you know, you got a boiler. Well, treat that. The bathroom. And then you still have to go around your house as well. You know, depending on how you, your room is. Still hit all your baseboards. Hit the baseboards as well. Go around, hit the baseboards. Sometimes you might have roaches um, on the table. Not on it, but yeah, on it, under it. So what you have to do is sometimes it's bad, man, you know. It's bad. Um, so once you have them, they just... Mm -hmm. Trigger away just to run wild and find all the hot spots uh, in your house. Another hot spot is just, you know, in, it's, it's in your furniture. That's another hot spot in your furniture. Um, this is the kitchen table. They lie to get underneath your kitchen table, depending on how your kitchen table is. This kitchen table is um, pretty hefty. Fancy, got a, some compartments in it, so they got a, a lot of places where they can hide. You know what I mean? They can get up all in here, make their nest. Sometimes they be in there. You will see four or five roaches just uh, hovering in there, so it's good. You just spray the bottom of this. Just spray, just spray it. Make sure you get the chemicals, you know, the alpine. You know, you got a mix of the alpine and the techo inside of here. And um, and spray these areas because they hide in there. Make sure you spray this. There's a lot of cracks and crevices inside of here. This thing right here, you can probably put some gel in this because you can't get way in there. But sometimes they might be in there. So you have to just gel a little bit. Don't put too much, but just gel certain spots as well. And you gotta check your chairs. You know what I mean? They get in places like this as well. You know what I mean? They get in the corners. Once again, they get in these corners. They hide. You see that? They get in that. They get in back. They hide up in here. They get all up in here. And they make their nests. You know what I mean? They can get in spots like that. And they make the nests. So you got to spray these areas. Spray those areas, okay? That's another spot. And then in here as well. They make their nests in here. They get into these corners, they make nests into these little spots that man, the people that say, where the hell, who get that, you know, where are the roaches coming from? Are they coming from these little corners, these little spots where you don't see their babies? You gotta check that too, spray these areas, spray all the way around there. You wanna spray, you can gel. You can spray or gel these areas, okay? Spray or gel, gels works great. And I keep saying gel. Roach bait gel, it's basically the same thing. It's just, you know, but uh, make sure you treat your furniture. Still, you gotta treat your baseboards because that's how the roaches climb your walls through your baseboards. So treat around all your baseboards. Treat the baseboards. Sometimes they'll be in your windows too, depending on how bad it is. So you might have to treat around the window areas. You know what I'm saying? You might have to get up there, treat. They get into these areas. Okay, you might have to chew in here. Chew in here to get into these areas sometimes. I don't see, like, trust me, I don't see it at all. So they can get into these areas. You gotta chew, so you know, hit these, you know, hit all your baseboards around. Hit all the baseboards. Check these areas, check all corners. Whatever's the corner at it, where you have a, we have a brochure infestation in your home, just check all your corners and just, Everywhere, check everywhere you could because they will hide right there. They'll make a nest. You need to spray these areas. You can spray them areas, spray it, spray them areas, spray up top. They hide up there, they make nests up there. Spray up top of there, spray on top of there, spray all over in there. Sometimes you make a nest in here, you can't spray this. So you gotta gel this, you gotta gel around it, and then in here. They like to hide in the little upper areas. So you gonna have to spray inside of here. Spray it all the way around because if you have them, you're gonna have them up here. Spray all the way around. 
Once again, just hit all the baseboards. Hit the baseboards. You know what I mean? Make sure you get the areas where you know where they can hide. You know what I'm saying? Get underneath. Make sure you check underneath. You know, they probably not gonna hang much here. It's not gonna be the area, most likely, but still check. You never know, they get into areas. So hit all your windows, so check the window sills, check everything again, like how I was saying in the beginning, so check everything. You might have a spray for as well too. Most importantly, the baseboards all the way around. Hit the baseboards. Check all your window sills. Check the window sills. Check the window sills. Check the doorways. They hide in these areas up here. See, there's the cracks. Wherever there's a crack at, they're going to hide. They love it. They love it. They hide. They just get in there and they just hide in there. So you need to get in there. Stick get all in these corners. Make sure you don't miss no. Make sure you don't miss the baseboards. They're going to come in there and... um. And they're gonna take over if you miss something. So don't try to miss nothing. Hit all these corners. And then you know you wanna make sure you know you wanna hit anywhere else. Just make sure you any closets where you have space. And if you same thing, you know you have dressers or whatever. And and if you have a dresser, you see roaches inside of here. You know you might have a roach inside of here. Most likely they're gonna be hiding inside of inside of here. Okay? So what you need to do is you need to take all your dresser drawers out. Take them out. Shake your clothes out. Look underneath what you pulled out. The roaches can be all in there sometimes. In the nest. Inside of there. Inside of there. In places like this. Hiding. 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 So you need to take your drawers out. Check what you have inside here. They hide in these places. You know what I mean? They get all up in there. And they hide. So you need to uh, treat your furniture as well, okay? Because your furniture is going to be another key place they're going to hide. I didn't see it, okay? Sometimes, man, they didn't hide in your mirror pieces. You get a mirror piece, you get a ball in here, and they didn't get in here, you, you know, this, because this is attached on, so they can get into this attached on. So get a ball in here, check your mirrors, check cracks, and just check everywhere. Because that's where they hide at. You got to get in places where you, where you don't think they at. They at. You know what I mean? Um, we should have all the baseboards. All the baseboards. All the baseboards all the way around. Check your furniture, okay? Check your furniture all the way around. Just check your furniture. Make sure that everything is is roach free. You need to get into these cracks. The purpose of the cracks, again. And make sure you don't have nothing there. Open your, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got a door in here. Open it up. Because they be right here. They be in these areas. They be in these areas. They hide. They be right here. So you need to uh, make sure you check these areas. Spray these areas. Because most likely they're going to be here. So wherever, check these areas. They hide in those little areas right there. They love to hide. You know what I'm saying? Check those areas. Once again, whatever product you sometimes... Most times, hey, they love the TV. Sometimes they get into your TV all underneath here, get into your wires and all that. So you might have to gel parts of your TV wherever they be at too. So you can gel parts of your TV um, and put sticky traps around your TV as well so you can catch the stragglers um, to make sure because it's going to be on here. So you just got to, like I said, once again, you got to treat the dresser, take them out, look underneath and get them in there and treat it. Keep going with your baseboards all the way around. Check. Furniture is going to be important. They're going to be in here. Take it out. Take it out. You got to get up in there. You got to look. Take this out. Get up in there. And you got to look on where it's at. Okay? You can see. Get in there. Roaches might. They're going to be in there moving. Get into them cracks. They be all in there. Get in there. So you got to spray all that out. Just spray it out. Once you spray it out, I promise it's going to work. Get get everywhere. Spray it all out. Spray it everywhere you can. Spray it because they're going to be inside your furniture. They're going to be there. Okay? So spray it everywhere you can. Um, so that's just basically um, what you got to do to um, get rid of your German roaches. Um, it's going to be a a task, but um, this is why I am showing you 
what to do. Um, until next time.